Hello, RoboFlow users, and welcome to using RoboFlow from start to finish with the Hard Hat Universe dataset. So in this video sequence, we're going to do two things. We're going to walk through a high-level understanding of how RoboFlow works from start to finish, and then we will demonstrate a step-by-step -step guide of how each step works with a working example using the Hard Hat Universe dataset. So let's jump right into it. Now, before we walk through the steps of how RoboFlow works, it can be useful sometimes to have a abstract analogy that one can use to guide their understanding. So in this analogy, let's assume for a moment that we have here our amorphous five-year-old stick child. And this little stick human child wants to learn some new things for a math test or an English test, or whatever it is, I'm gonna say math test. So how would we help this child prepare? The first thing we would do in the first stage is we would collect all of the learning materials that they need to succeed, and we would get them organized for learning. Now in this case, let's assume maybe we're gonna use some flashcards, you know, just kind of like the times tables, five times five is 25 flashcards. Once we have everything ready to use, we're going to take that child and we're going to provide them those materials and a strategy for learning. So maybe we teach them some standard, you know, look at the front of the car, try to guess it, look at the back, see if you got it right or wrong. You know, and we'll come up with more optimal learning strategies as we go. So the second stage is you take those materials, you organize in the first step, you provide them the materials with some type of strategy. And then finally, once they've done enough studying and they feel like they're ready to move on, they go out into the world and they use that knowledge somehow. You know, maybe they go to a math test or maybe at the grocery store, they count some uh, grocery items, whatever it is that they're doing. So with that analogy in mind, let's try to translate that and see if we can transfer some of our learning to RoboFlow. All right, so here's the RoboFlow process. Now I've kind of I have boxed off these uh, multiple steps. So there's seven steps, but I boxed them into three similar steps as the analogy above. It basically is going to boil down to collecting that data and getting it ready to use. Now RoboFlow offers all of the microprocesses required to get your data organized. It collects the data and lets you organize the data and annotate it with labels. But if you're just getting introduced to this, the best way to think about this is the processes of collecting your data and getting it ready. One of the awesome things is that we have uh, available this RoboFlow universe uh, aspect to the product, which is a large open source data set of available data you could use. So we can just arbitrarily use one. Let's look at aerial airports here. So for example, in our aerial airports open data set, there is a curated collection of images stored and annotated for your usage. Now in this uh, video series, we are going to be using the Hard Hats Universe data set, but there are many data sets out there if you would like to use another one. So regardless of if you collect the data yourself or if you use data provided to you by RoboFlow, the next step is we're going to provide that information to a model and we're gonna train it. Now this sounds kind of complicated, but luckily we have this awesome one-click training tool, which we'll be going through step-by-step step of how to use. But the idea is all the processing, uh, processing and training aspects, which are the equivalent of something learning how to use the data to identify things, uh, will be handled in RoboFlow. And finally, just in the same way that with the child analogy, that it goes out into the world and uses that knowledge, so too will our computer vision models. There has to be ways to take the model we've trained and provide it information in the real world for real world processing. Now, there are many additional features and tools available on RoboFlow, but for this video sequence, we're gonna be focusing on these core steps and most importantly, providing a tangible example using the hard hats data set. So in our next video, we will be jumping into how to execute each of these steps uh, together 
uh, in a follow along video. So I'll